Great. Yeah, so just to start, I've been asking all the 13th District legislators, uh, what are the major, major issues facing the state this session? Well, you know, the major issues are always the budget, especially in a budget year. Um, depending on who you ask, we've got plenty of money. Some people say we don't have enough money. Uh, but I think that the primary focus of the state legislature this year is going to be to fully fund uh, you know, services that protect the most vulnerable, protect our K-12 through education system, uh, try to hold tuition down so that we don't balance the budget on the back of college kids and their parents, and then after that we'll see if there's any money left. And uh, major issues facing the 13th district specifically, especially if there are different ones in the state. We've got two really big issues that are facing the 13th district specifically. Uh, the food processor tax incentive is expiring, and that means like employers like ConAgra, National Frozen Foods, you know, a lot of businesses in Moses Lake and Grant County are food processors. If we lose that tax incentive, they're talking about going over the border to Hermiston, uh, or other places in Oregon. We got to make sure that gets renewed. Uh, the other one would be the server farm tax incentive, which is all these high-tech businesses coming to Grant County, places like people like Microsoft and Yahoo and Vantage and Dell. We don't want them going to Nebraska and New York. That expires in six months. If we don't renew it, we're going to lose those jobs. Uh, what are some of your goals and priorities for this session? I know you've focused a lot on prevailing wage with your sponsorships. Yeah, you know, I am trying to bring the cost of government down. We charge prevailing wage on school construction, road construction, just about anything. And, you know, look at the bond that was run, the school bond in Moses Lake. These things are coming in at hundreds of millions of dollars. Moses Lake taxpayers cannot afford to spend $200 million on a high school. We could cut those costs by a third without affecting quality if we would exempt schools from prevailing wage. Uh, the same with the transportation package. We want Snoqualmie Pass to be open 24-7, but not if we're going to spend a billion dollars to build a half a billion dollars worth of roads. So I think prevailing wage is an important way to deliver services at a reasonable cost to the taxpayer. Any other personal goals for this session? Well, I've got some train legislation. Uh, I've talked about that before. Uh, I am the co-chair of the Rail Caucus, and Grant County is a export-dependent uh, county. We export potatoes and hay and wheat and apples, and those exports need to be able to get to Seattle ports. They need to get to uh, Chicago so that they can get to Taiwan and China and Korea. If we don't have a vibrant rail system, then those things are going to go by truck, and it's going to be more expensive and take longer to get there. What do you think about the potential for new taxes this session? You know, there's going to be some requests for new taxes. Uh, I don't think they're going to be met very enthusiastically. Uh, they're not by me. Uh, I just feel that with $3 billion of additional revenue already, that it's unfair to ask the taxpayers for an additional billion and a half when, we've, when you have already given us $3 billion more of your money. So I think we've got enough money to pay all the bills. Great. Those were my main questions. Anything you'd like to add about this session? Uh, well, you know, it's going to be one in which the parties are closely divided. We're going to have to work across the aisle. We're going to have to find some compromises. And I would say, you know, I'm going to hear, I'm going to be here fighting for the values of Grant County, fighting for the values of Eastern Washington. But I'm also realistic to the fact that we're probably going to have to compromise with people uh, so that we can go home and, and keep this state up and running. Great. Thank you so much.